Hey guys, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to the weekly Link to the Past Randomizer Async. This is weekly number 76 for this series. Can't believe it's been going on for that long. And um, yeah, today we actually have a very simple seed. All we have is, uh, let me just grab this really quick. We got standard mode, defeat Ganon, seven, seven crystals, and starting sword and boots. That's all we have. So it can be very, very, uh, very simple, I guess you could say. Um, before we get started though, got a question from, uh, them gamer, uh, YouTube YT question for randomizers are they just in completely random locations or a set randomizer for items because aren't there key items to progress throughout any game uh yes uh the randomizer is coded with logic so that you know if an item is randomized it's never going to be found like beyond what you'd normally use that item to get so like if you need to use the boots to open a location you know that the boots are not going to be behind there. You'll have to get the boots before you get to that location, unless there's another way to get into there. So, um, all the developers made it so that uh, every game is winnable. You just have to find the items um, before you get to that certain location, if you even need to get to that location. So that's basically how that works. Yeah, I hope everyone is having a good weekend. Um, I'm having a really good weekend, actually. Um, my new computer chair came in yesterday. I think it was yesterday. It was either yesterday or Thursday. I want to say it was yesterday. And I uh, got it put together today, and I'm sitting on it right now. It's very comfortable. It's not making noise. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy about that because, my God, I needed a new chair so bad. And uh, the wooden chair I was using as a replacement was not doing me well. Yeah, it is officially 2 o'clock, so we should be getting started soon. Looks like it is just me, Aaron Doby, and KillerApp23. Uh, we're the only ones racing in this today. And Aaron's actually streaming, too, so, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Normally he doesn't stream, but I guess he's been, he's been kind of on a streaming revival as of late. So, it's good to kind of have him on the streaming front again. I know that sometimes he streams uh, Donkey Kong 64 randomizers, too, so it's always fun catching him for one of those. Um, I did also get my new controller as well, but I'm not going to use it just yet, because I literally got it, like, earlier today, and I didn't have time to, like, get it set up and break it in yet, so, um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Plus, I want to test it with some other, like, emulation first, because, uh, the main reason I got it was that I could maybe start using RetroArch, and, uh, my controller wasn't being recognized for RetroArch, my old one, and I was having issues with it anyway. So, decided to uh, decided to uh, get something that would work with RetroArch. I actually got an Xbox One controller, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, so, essentially, this is a speedrun session, pretty much. Uh, Willard. Uh, pitch these settings today, and Willard's definitely a very execution-heavy uh, rando player, so I could see him submitting something like this. Although it's funny that he's not even in the race, though. Willard. <laughs> That's fun. But, you know what this means, uh, because uh, there's not really any crazy settings here, uh, this should theoretically be a sub-two-hour seed, which means 
we'll probably be having quite a bit of Picross afterwards. Which is good, because I wanted to make some more progress on that. Especially now that I'm wrapping up with Floppy Knights, and uh, I kind of want to use that as like a Picross replacement for the challenges, since I want to move on to Portal uh, for the Tuesday and Sunday games. And then, of course, after that, we'll have Tunic. Looking forward to lots of cool gaming coming up soon, that's for sure. Let's see, just looking at some chats here. Keeping an eye on the timer since Aaron just finished up eating, I guess, so he's kind of lagging behind a bit, but it's cool. He's the one that sets up all these races, so gotta appreciate that. Here, I'll move my Discord chat over here so I can get that while I'm waiting. Yo, Gary SRL. Time for Alt TP. Alt TP. Yeah, thanks Gary for the, uh, Three month resub. Thank you so much. Okay, Aaron's ready. Here we go. Gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, look at Bowser in his bed. Oh, look at that bow. I guess I don't have the sword yet. I don't think I'll get the sword until uh, I get to the end. I don't know why I was grabbing that. Yep, we're using TTYD today. Actually, I don't even need to look for bombs. I can just dash into the wall, so... game being all nice to me all of a sudden. Oh, man, yeah, I can't wait to start using another controller. D-pad on this one is just really, really jank. Sir, how you done?
gotta find the cricket. No, you know, you see, we gotta we gotta find the item that starts with CR and then ends with Icket. Isn't that how that usually goes? Good, got a Roku, sign back up for Paramount and Disney, awesome. Interesting. And see, I feel like frog would like make more sense than a cricket. Because wouldn't like frogs have like some very like random ooze on them that would make maybe like digestion kind of weird. Oh, mirror. Man, we got a lot of good items here actually. And we're gonna have a sub six six escape. But, I mean, that's pretty obvious with boots. I mean, if you don't have a sub-6 escape with boots, that's kind of pathetic. started your first uh, ALTTPR yesterday and it's rough. Well, best of luck. I mean, that, that's the one thing is like, you know, obviously if you don't do them normally, it does take a bit to kind of get used to them and everything. Because there's not just the item aspect, it's also like, you know, actually like playing efficiently too. But after a while, you kind of get the hang of it and know what you're looking for and how to play efficiently, so it's not too bad. So let's see, we got the flutes. This could be an Aga Seed. I don't know what Misery Mire is yet, but... Um, pendant at... Eastern, and then Red Crystal, and then Crystal. I'll put those down later. So we don't know if the flute's going to be necessary yet. Oh my god. D-pad, please. Sponge on the run. Don't have fun with that. Oh, 
Master Sword. And Hookshot. Yo, 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 Zabrag Burger. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Ready for your next uh, FF7s session? Pretty good, uh, sir. Nice, I'll try to stop by for a bit. But yeah, Cirque, my day's been pretty good. I got a new uh, office chair assembled and I'm currently using it, and it feels pretty freaking awesome. That's really all there is to it. Not much has really happened aside from that today. I've got a, cool, a few things, but like nothing that's really pushed me into any major locations yet. Wow, butt catching at almost vanilla. Literally one house away from where it's supposed to be. Yeah, the Glitzville theme is really good. And now it's gone. For like the Petalburg path or whatever it's called. Uh, I probably should have grabbed those bombs, honestly. But that's okay. Good afternoon, Slimky Chair. <laughs> yes, good afternoon to my new chair. Um. I'll grab those rupees really quick. I'm, I'm sure I'll get 50 more before I have to go to Zora, but still. I might need to actually buy some more bombs anyway. annoying is that Eastern's a pendant, so I would theoretically like to do that, but since it's a pendant, it's not going to give me any major progress. But with bow, that could be what the game wants me to do, though. That's the only thing. that. I'm going to go ahead and get some bombs. Now I'm going to go for the south shore, I think. Theoretically, I'd like to go to the mountains, but the mountains are not in logic without the lamp, so I'm hesitant about doing that right away. Any crazy settings this time? Actually, no. Uh, it's just standard mode, uh, starting boots and sword, and that's it. So it should be a very quick one today. Keyword should be, or should. Keywords would be, should be, I guess. Man, I keep getting messages on my phone. God. Springtime fresh, clear white, what could be better? Um, I'm trying to think of what could be better.
Ice Rod. Lamp. Okay, there we go. And Moon Pearl. So I just need the hammer or the, uh... What am I thinking? Hammer or the other uh, glove upgrade. So I think after I do this, I'm going to go to the mountain. Because there's a lot of stuff there that I can get now. And there's actually a pendant up there too, so... That seems like the place to go. Okay. I'm unhinged. Don't mind me. Actually, hold on. He can move, Bowser. Look at how fast he can move. Oh, another 300 up there. Um, I can probably skip that piece of heart. Oh my god, I forgot that that was the music for whenever you switch. Okay, Turtle Rock is a green pendant, which means we do need to be Aga in this scene. Because the flute is on the Lumberjack, so we'll do that later. I can technically do it whenever I'm in the area, so there's no rush on it, thankfully. What glitch was that? Um, I think that's called hook speed. Where if you press, uh, if you use the hook shot while you dash on like the same frame, it just acts like you're using the boots at all time. I honestly have no idea like what causes that or how that works, but I'm not complaining because again, it's uh, makes you go really, really fast. Oh, come on. Wait, hold on. I think I have a fairy. That's fine. Riddle Tower this early, yeah. Okay. Kind of sucks that we found that ice rod, because that just means the ice rod's not required since Turtle Rock's a pendant. Come on, come 
on. I hate this controller. But it's better than the other one that just randomly disconnects, so... Could you explain how he's flickering through the tiles? It's because you're not supposed to be standing on those. Whenever they're up like that, that means you can't pass them. So if, like, you're on top of them, like, it's like you're not supposed to be on there. But thankfully you can walk off still, so that's how I was able to save that still. But since, like, you're, like, in that state where you're not supposed to be, that's why the enemies can't hit you. Because it's, like, acting like you're already being hit, even though you're not taking damage. Okay, I think I got all the items in here. Which means Moldorm's gonna have either the map or the compass. What color is the new chair? It's just a normal black rolling desk chair. It's a little more heavy duty since I am, you know, overweight, so... It's got a capacity that's above my weight limit, or above my weight, which is nice. not ready for that. It was because I slashed him instead of uh, sp spun attack him. Because I think with uh, just three spin attacks he won't do the uh... Yeah, he won't do the fast phase if you get three spin attacks. Since spin attacks do slightly more damage. Okay, first crystal. Um, I can technically get desert once I get the... F oh, no, I don't have the mitts, though. Okay, I won't worry about desert until I get the mitts. And then... Then I can just get the flute and then go there. Um, yeah, I don't need that piece of heart, so let's just go ahead and go this way. The boss theme fits. Yeah, I kind of did, actually. Come on. So yeah, if you ever see like some random movements, just assume it's my controller. D-pad is, like, really wonky. Fire Rod! Sweet. Fire Rod is required. sword. Yeah, this seed is turning out to be very nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay. There we go. I think we still have a few things we can get, though, so I'm not gonna leave just yet. See what the item is up here, then I'm gonna do spiral cave, and then we'll do something else. I guess I could go to Eastern. I mean it's either Eastern or I um do Aga. The problem with Eastern is that Eastern is a pendant, but I don't I can't do any other dungeons right now. Technically, I could do Thieves Town if I make it there. So, you know what? Maybe I will do Aga. 
Deeds will have to do it anyway. Oh, it's not going to be that fast, Master Flux. I still need six other crystals, and it took me one. It took me twenty minutes to get one. So not that fast. <laughs> if only though, if only. But yeah, I'm mainly gonna do this just so I can get um. Cause I'll need the flute, and the flute I'll need to do this to get. So. So I figured out the sooner I do this, the better, and that way I can also get Thieves Town along the way. Because I'm still looking for Hammer too, and I still need the Mitts before I can do Desert and some of the other things. Bros. It's actually appropriate, like, the character I'm using right now <laughs> with the music. Bowser does love fried eggs. I love honestly any kind of egg. I love scrambled eggs. I love uh, soft boiled and hard boiled eggs. I love omelets. Sunny side up, probably one of my least favorite kind of egg, but like, I can still have it. I feel like I'd enjoy poached as well, even though it's probably not the way I'd prefer an egg. I also have catfish tonight too, which I'm actually really happy about. I love catfish. Last night. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, one more hit should do it. Nah. Fine. Get out of here. Ooh. I can 
should be important. Okay, should I go to Catfish first? Probably. Go to Catfish first. I can probably also check Zora while I'm up there. I know there's also a Palace of Darkness I could go to, but the thing with Palace of Darkness is that I don't have Hammer yet, so I can't finish that. And then, of course, Eastern's Appendant, so... I'm not really looking to complete them right now, if possible. Especially when there's other dungeons I can complete, so it's kind of my logic right here. I still haven't figured out what my next game is going to be that I want to complete. I'm thinking about one of the 3D Zeldas. Like, I, I want to play through uh, Twilight Princess again. And, like, actually see what 100% in that game's like. And there's also Skyward Sword, which I just haven't completed yet, ever. So, I'm thinking about one of those two, but... I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'll be doing the Portal series this month, so that should be good, but... I wanted something to do on my own time that I won't just be streaming, too. I just picked a really bad time to, uh, when I first tried Skyward Sword, I just picked a really bad time to play it. I just wasn't really in the mood for it, I guess. It was a shame, because, like, I had beaten the first dungeon and done a few other things, but just, just wasn't as invested in it for some reason. So I 
know there's a heart up there, which I don't need. You're hyped for the portal playthrough? Awesome. Hope you enjoy it when I get around to it. I really enjoyed doing the co-op with Odin. It was a lot of fun. I'd be curious to like look at all the puzzles from the perspective of just like one player. Which means they'll have to technically be less complex, but it'll also just be my dumb brain trying to solve it as opposed to two brains trying to solve it. That ghost kind of pushed me back towards the... I don't know, Cass. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> I, I do plan to do it this year, though, for sure. I just I need to find time to fit both that and Twilight in. I mean, doesn't Zelda just in general have a great soundtrack? <laughs> wow, I'm gonna get all the dungeon items before we get any actual items. That's literally what's happening. I mainly just want to play Twilight Princess again, though, because of Minda. Minda's awesome. Okay, let me grab that. Wind Waker's good, but I played that last year. I, I played the HD version for you guys on stream. That was fun, though. Actually, the first time I went and got all the figurines, which I thought was interesting. Never done that before, and honestly, I'm glad I actually did do a playthrough where I did that. It's also more manageable to do on the HD version, anyway. I wish I had the uh, Twilight Princess HD, though. I'm probably going to play GameCube um, because I have Dolphin and I can easily do that. But at some point, I'd love to get the HD version of Twilight Princess, whether they... Whether I get my hands on the Wii U version or whether... Um, they actually release it for... Switch. Well, if Hammer is anywhere, it's not going to be here. You also like Majora's Mask. You know what? I need to play a Majora's Mask Rando. That is actually a thing, and I'd like to check that out at some point. Especially now that there's like an Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask combo that's like 
coming out. Like, that would be so cool to do. Do Lissa's theme. The next time I play Minish Cap will probably be my um, let's play of it. A combo rando seasons ages would take a good while. That would be interesting. I mean, there's already randos for both of those games. I'm just not super familiar with them and how they'd work. I feel like, I feel like it'd be kind of hard because of I feel like so much of the game is like based on like flags that open up as you make progress so like i don't know if like it'd, it'd be like incredibly linear or you'd need to do like a entrance or something with it i i honestly don't know oh, that was fast Are you nervous to try a Wind Waker rando? I am, because Wind Waker is a huge freaking game. But from what I've heard, there's like a lot of like uh, quick uh, things that make the experience go a lot faster. So probably not as much as I used to be scared of doing that, but I'm sure it would still take me a while anyway. Breath of the Wild randomizer. I haven't even beaten Breath of the Wild, technically. I've played so much of it, but never got around to actually finishing it. Pod and Eastern now. opinion if you would do 100% Twilight Princess I'd say go for the HD so it has extra content from the GameCube yeah the problem is I just I can't find that game anywhere actually wait can you buy Twilight Princess HD from like the Wii U eShop or does it have to be like I guess, worst case scenario, I could just do that. I 
Which I know, I don't exactly have a lot of time left for the eShop. Okay, well maybe I'll do that then. I, I can't believe I never really thought about that. I'll make sure I do that before it closes down. I still have time. There's the hammer. Okay, I'm glad I came here first. So I can't actually... I, I can complete this dungeon, though. Um, let me just follow this path. It seemed like it was going to be a seed that had a hammer in Thieves Town. I just kind of felt... Or Palace of Darkness, not Thieves Town. So many keys. Beware of the wiz the wizards. God, those enemies suck in Thousand Year Door <laughs> sometimes, especially the ones in the pit. Those are like really bad. Okay, I think uh, we got everything aside from the um. I think we have all the small keys. means there is an item in the big key chest, but... It could be the map or the compass. In fact, I think it actually is. Strategy, use Yoshi's goal for Flurry's lip lock, yeah. Yeah, but I'm a noob, so I always use Fiery Jinx for everything. Yeah, 
Oh, hey, game vampire. Oh, you know what? I have the mirror shield. I didn't even think about that. So Mitz and Samaria are like the big items. I also need flippers too for Swamp. I'm a man and use multi box and rally wings. Yeah, well, you 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 have a type, Slavko. and I grab the other chest really quick. Now here's the question. Do I want to, like keep going because I can't really I mean mitts really do open up a lot now so <laughs> mitts and flippers are like the big things I need so honestly I probably should go to eastern next This is game of the year, hell yeah. I agree. Hey Snow Yoshi, it's going alright. Just playing some games. 
Yes, I normally do. Yeah, I need some Mario too. Some Mario flippers. Mitts. Maybe a medallion. Especially ones in the 90s and 2000s. I don't know, Cass. Whenever DT or Aaron wants to stop them, I guess. I'm gonna do this just to get these checks out of the way. So I can technically do them fast with fake flippers and boots. Because originally this was something DT wanted to do with his server every week, just to add like some more like community bonding and stuff of that nature. But then it got to a point where he couldn't keep up with them because he was like starting a new job and everything. So then Aaron Doby, one of the other people who runs these every week, said that he would take over. And he's been running the races every week pretty much. It's been good fun, I think. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna save and quit here because I don't wanna mess up anything. Naturally, though, that didn't give me anything of note, so that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm trying to think of where the game wants me to go now. Probably Skull Woods. I did not want to go there. <clears throat> Again, we're looking for either Flippers or Moon Pearl. Or not Moon Pearl, uh, Titan's Moon. <clears throat> mm. 
Mint would give us more to do. <clears throat> Flippers would kind of push us to a more linear path, which is what I kind of want. thing is once I find the other item I don't need to look out anymore from here Say this is another small key. <laughs> but I honestly don't remember. There we go. Okay, with mitts, what can I do? Um, I guess I can go down here now. Oh, do not read my diary! I'll kill you! Yes, I did read the diary, but only for the content. You always gotta do things for the content. Oh yeah, I read it also right in front of him, which is also hilarious. I love a good content.
Silver is okay. I'll take silvers any day of the week. Just wanted to see what that item was before I did this. So let's see if we're in the medallion go mode. We are! Okay, so we just uh, need uh, Cana Samaria and uh, Flippers, and that's it. And we know that we don't need to go into Turtle Rock for the Cana Samaria, so that's one good thing. So finding the Flippers soon would be really nice. Flippers could still be in um, Turtle Rock or beyond Turtle Rock, but it's highly unlikely. Actually, I don't know why I picked that up. I'm, I didn't need that. I do like that Poplio emote, though. Pretty adorbs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through deserts. Once I get the red crystal, I'm going to go to Pyramid Fairy. After Pyramid Fairy, then I'm going to go to Ice Palace. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to jump into Swamp if I don't need to. So why am I doing this? That's interesting, Cirque. I just never really wanted to even think about working off the debt in Super Paper Mario like that. Just did not seem worth it. At least with, like, the hamster wheel, you could probably, like, do some kind of, like, controller manipulation to have it moving at all times, but, eh. it's going to be on the boss. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, I'll 
Miles Love. Here's the question, though. Do I want to go inside the Misery Mire without Kane? Because it could, it could very easily be there. Because here's the thing. I don't have the logic to go into Ice Palace right now. And I could also go to the top of the mountain, but, like, I don't have Samaria, so I can't do anything in Turtle Rock, so... No matter what, I have to make a gamble on this next part. It's a good question. You know what? I'm gonna go to the mountain first. Because there's a couple of things I can check out. And it could give me some kind of context for what's open or closed whenever I do find whatever the next item is. But yeah, I need to find Flippers and Cane of Samaria. Or the Red Cane for those that don't know names. So if I find those two things, though, I can go straight to the end of the game, pretty much. Also, I didn't do the pyramid crystals like I was planning, but that's okay. There's more items up here. vanilla medallions. It's kind of interesting. Wrong cane! to check the uh, other cave on here though so it's not too bad that I found that flippers okay that actually is good that I found that want to trade me some star pieces I don't know rip cheeto Oh, I know. Rip Cheeto sells 64 coins. That's what I'm thinking of. Merlo is who you trade star pieces to. I don't know about... I kind of forget who it is. And Thousand Your Door. Um, but that doesn't matter anymore. Once I find Samaria, I'm in go mode, so... No one can... No, you can't, Mr. Simpson. No one can! Pretty bold of him to assume that, honestly. I'm sure there's a butter snob that can figure that out.
So ultimately, I think I did get a decent go mode item. Flippers could have potentially been in Turtle Rock if the seed didn't play out the way I wanted it to, so... That's at least good that I don't have to make that journey. I think this will definitely be over before the two hour mark. Just depends on how long this cane takes to find. Ride the giant tuna to Yoshi Yoshi's Island. I mean, Lava Lava Island. Let's go to Egg Island, guys. Egg Island is pretty much just Yoshi's Island. Just with certain level tropes in different orders. say this right now there's gonna be some short videos next week for Yoshi's New Island shorter than some of the ones we've already seen too Did I need that fairy? Probably not. Guys, what do you think Chocola Cola tastes like? I always thought that since it was like red in Superstar Saga, it was like... Yeah, some kind of like cream berry soda or something. <laughs> Cherry cola? Okay, yeah, I can see that. Oh, it's wine in the Japanese version? Okay. That's interesting. Which I guess would kind of make sense. Flavio seems like he'd be... Could be a strawberry too, I don't know. Excuse me, guys.
Okay, sorry about that. I had, like, some saliva that kind of went down the pipe wrong in my throat, so I had to mute myself for a little bit. Yeah, I never really would have put that together with Chocola Cola until, like, actually hearing that, so it's like, oh, okay. I mean, it, it is technically made in, like, a winery, I guess, in Superstar Saga. At a chateau. So, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. swamp I do remember that I, I do remember that in Wario Land I remember Mega telling me that or Mega mentioning that in his let's play of that game that I did remember okay unfortunately swamp was not the answer but No matter what, I mean, Flippers has to be the key. I'm sure we'll find it at some point. Wait, what the hell? God, this controller, this con- I swear, my controller is haunted, like... I wasn't even pressing down on the D-pad, and all of a sudden I just started going the opposite way. That was really weird. Yeah, it's the ghost whose diary I read right in front of him. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get some potion. And then I'm gonna go to, uh, Ice Palace. The cane could also just be in Mire waiting for me, too. could also just be in its vanilla dungeon. <clears throat> I hope it's not, but it could be. At this point, we know it's not a pedestal seed, though, because we need to beat Turtle Rock in order to get the last pendant, and... Well, you kind of need Samari to get through that dungeon, so. We're good to go. Actually, I love that I got half magic and like that's the reason why I wanted to get a potion because I didn't have it. Turns out I didn't need to get that whatsoever but whatever. Okay, Killer App said he just finished the seed. So I kind of was hoping to be in go mode before he finished, but it is what it is. Oh, shoot, why'd I do that? I don't know why I went down there. Oh, 
Killer App is also just really, really good at Link to the Past Rambo, so... He's like someone who I'm, like, surprised hasn't been, like, in a <clears throat> major contention in the tournament. I feel like he and DT are kind of on the same level. But I can still be Aaron, so let's see if we can do that. I need to search for General White. No, I'm not, actually. But, I mean, really, who is? <laughs> um, uh, I better I better do the bomb jump. I better do it because I don't know if I'll find uh, Samari in here. Samaria could easily be in here or not be in here with these current odds that I have. Go mode. Hey, Clayman. Ultimately, just came down to like what you checked first, I guess. There were a couple of things I probably could have skipped that um, Killer App did skip, so he probably got the leg up there. I'm just glad I didn't go into Mire. Yeah, Cold Stare with Gold Sword is like broken. You can break that fight so easily. See if I can beat this in under 145. That's gonna be my current goal. Ganon will be really fast because I have silvers. But it's all gonna depend on how fast the big key is here and in Ganon's tower. Too. Oh. Apparently they guessed right on everything, and I just guessed wrong on everything. Still a fast seed, but... Thank you. 
Oh, Thomas T-Bone, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. surprised I didn't pick up that small key. Didn't matter, but still. God, why did my phone keep lighting up? My god. It's like, leave me alone, phone! are after my phone. Well, damn. I didn't know my phone was such a hot commodity for robots. I could have probably actually played Pokemon Go today. It's only it's in the 40s. I could have probably played today. It's okay though. I wonder if a uh, killer app like, um, and I guess Aaron for that matter too, I wonder if they gambled on Ice having Samaria and then just kind of pieced together where flippers were after that. That or maybe they just ignored the mountain. That. I'll have to ask them in the chat afterwards. I imagine it's going to be a very quick Ganon's Tower, though. I imagine it's going to be very quick. Seed. Yeah. Not fast cannon. If it was fast cannon, it's like, oh shoot, I probably could have finished. <laughs>
Yep, we'll finish before 145. Not 140, though, because the climb will definitely take a bit longer. Oh, I don't have a lot of arrows, I just realized that. <clears throat> well, I will try not to use them then. Just to make sure I have enough for Ganon. Okay, now I can use some now. <laughs> Arrow drop is like you were saying. Was a really good gauntlet. Shame the landmo fight was kind of trash, but it is what it is. That was for uses, wherever you are.
Okay. Did it before 145, which was my goal. Time to see what they d did, I guess, that I didn't do. Didn't believe in pot until hammer was my go- What? <laughs> Killer app got <laughs> hammer last. So he double dipped mire and ice. How did he do all of that so fast, though? My god. <laughs> I I have I find that really hard to believe that he got hammer last and still finished in 126. Or 124, not even 126. My gun. Ah, well thanks guys. Thanks Cass, DJ Mikey, and Zabrag. Man, that is so weird. I just, I do not get how he was able to double dip both Ice Palace and Mire and still got sub 90 on it. Like, that's, <laughs> that's incredible. He must have been schmoovin' on that one. Uh, what is Weekly Async? Weekly Async is basically, like, it's a weekly race of Link to the Past Randomizer. But you don't have to do it on the day of the race. Like, the seed gets created, a race room is made it on Saturday, and then, like, the seed is just available for whenever someone wants to race it. And we just combine times. Like, as the week goes on.
trying to think of what else I didn't get or I didn't check. I think that's it. I think that's about it, honestly. Also, the rest of ice. Yep, sub 145, which is what I was aiming for, so that's good. Which means we can have a nice, like, hour-long session of Picross today. Okay, guys, well, um, I'm gonna see what my, um, item collection rate is, and after I do that, I'm probably gonna go to the bathroom really quick, and then probably get ready for some Picross. <clears throat> 153. Okay, I'll be right back. We'll do some Picross to close off the day. And, uh, yeah, that'll be that. So I'll be right back. Once again, an ad's gonna play, so... I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. <clears throat> 